we're given vectors a and b, and then we're asked to sketch three times vector a and negative two times vector b. We'll take a look at these two examples by hand, and then for the third example, we'll take a look at the online graphing tool. To begin, notice the component form of vector a has an x component of one and a y component of two. Let's go ahead and record this. And the component form of vector b has an x component of negative three and a y component of positive one. The vector three times vector a will be three times as long as vector a, or have three times the magnitude, and point in the same direction. Which means graphically, one way to sketch the vector three times vector a would be to start at the origin, the initial point, and then move right one and up two three times. So starting at the origin, right one up two, right one up two, right one up two. This is a terminal point of the vector three times vector a. And therefore, this black vector is the vector three times vector a. Notice it has three times the magnitude or three times the length of the vector a, and it points in the same direction. Another way to find the component form of the vector three times vector a would be to multiply the components of vector a by the scalar three. Let's also show this. The vector three times vector a has an x component of three times one and a y component of three times two. Simplifying, we have an x component of three and a y component of six, which matches the vector we already sketched for the vector three times vector a. And now let's go ahead and sketch the vector negative two times vector b. The vector negative two times vector b will have twice the length or twice the magnitude of vector b, but because of the negative, it will point in the opposite direction. Which means graphically, if we wanted to sketch the vector negative two times vector b, we would start at the origin, and then instead of moving left three and up one twice, we would move right three and down one twice. So starting at the origin, right three down one, right three down one, this is the terminal point of the vector negative two times vector b. Notice the vector has twice the magnitude or twice the length as vector b and points in the opposite direction or to find the component form of the vector negative two times vector b, we would multiply the components of vector b by negative two. So negative two times vector b has an x component of negative two times negative three and a y component of negative two times one. Simplifying, the x component is positive six and the y component is negative two, which once again does match our graph for the vector negative two times vector b. And now let's take a look at one more example using the online graphing tool. Here we're given two vectors on the coordinate plane and we're asked to sketch the vector negative three times vector w. Notice vector w has an x component of one and a y component of negative two. The vector negative three times vector w will have three times the magnitude as vector w, but will point in the opposite direction. To do this graphically, instead of going right one and down two three times, we will go left one and up two three times for the vector negative three times vector w. Before we begin though, we click on the vector tool below. We single click at the origin for the initial point. And then again, we will move left one and up two three times. Left one, up two, left one, up two, left one, up two. Double click on the terminal point. And now if we move the cursor, another vector starts to eliminate this vector, single click off the coordinate plane, scroll down and click submit. And we can go ahead and check our work and notice our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.